Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Ian Renzing from Renko. And I'm talking to Ian about current transformers. Ian, when you're um, sensing current with a transformer, what's that really look like? How do you sense current with a transformer? Well, your conventional current transformer is typically constructed with a toroid, uh, which has a bunch of windings on it and you would wind up actually passing your one turn through the center of the toroid. Uh, the center of the toroid, that wire passing through, is where you're going to have your current that you're sensing, and then it actually makes uh, a transformer where the voltage is outputted from the secondary wires inside that little bit. And I understand you've improved on that idea. Yeah, so there is definitely a niche for a lower cost CT um, where maybe accuracy isn't as important. And what we've done for the 50, 60 hertz and 400 hertz uh, world is uh, we developed this CT where the one turn primary is actually included in the transformer itself. What we have here is our 7747 series uh, offered in both a 500 turn and 1000 turn uh, offering. And you can see we've actually incorporated the one turn primary in the uh, bobbin housing. Uh, we saw, again, a need in the industry for two things. One, insulation systems. Our customers want UL Class B and UL Class F insulation systems in a UL recognized component. So we went ahead, opened up our UL file, and had that done. So our 7747 is now offered with both of those insulation systems. But then we took it a step further. Uh, instead of just having the 7747 series uh, recognized to the instrument transformer standard, we also had them evaluated to UL5085 for spacings. We now offer this with both the 300 volt and 600 volt spacings. And some people say, well, geez, how did you get the 600 volt spacings? And the way we did that was we actually encapsulated the one turn primary on the top side and that provides us the creepage and clearance we need to the secondary winding to meet that 600 volt requirement. I see. And just so we're clear, the traditional current transformer, there's just no way they can meet those, those uh, UL standards. Not, uh, that's not necessarily a true statement because with the traditional toroid, yes you can meet those spacings, but this offers the fully PC mountable version with all those affordabilities. Gotcha. Oh, that's interesting technology, and thank you. Yeah, thank you.